these red onions are beginning to fall over so I'm going to pull them out now they're reasonable okay that's my onion harvest they're yeah, about the size of a, a tennis ball and quite nice so as we get those cleaned off and then perhaps dried and then braided that's them cleaned up and these are the ones that I'll be into a braid uh, those ones over there I'm going to eat straight away put them in a soup or something I decided to take out my shallots as well I think I'm going to take out the stoat carpets but uh, those shallots they're quite nice the little bunches like that there's what they like and these are the best, really the best. Yeah. They taste marvellous. Put them in the stews. You see them in there. They always just split. These are my favourites. So. Oh, that looks like a bad one. Let's throw that one away. They're nice and firm. Really good. I'll get those dried off. Lovely. Really nice. Small, but good. Okay, I'm going to take out these Stuttgart onions as well. Yeah, about the size of a tennis ball. I think they're good. So I'll take this whole bed out, clean them up, and then show you what I've got. Those look nice. So that's my onion harvest. But, uh, it's quite magnificent, really. Going away off there into the distance. Look at that. Let's see how many meters we've got of onions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six meters. And uh, they are beautiful. A very good harvest. Perfect. Brilliant, incredible, joyous, unbelievable, I'm really happy and I got that from, from that little bed there, so it's about, oh there's some more in there I haven't picked out, it's about a meter wide by about five meters long, covered in reeds. So I'll dig that out. And these were the ones over here that were rotten I'll have to throw away. Only about five of them. So, really good yield. That's the Stuttgart onions all cleaned off. Now, looking nice, big and beautiful. lot of good eating here. I think that might be a bit of the biggest one yet. Side of a tennis ball. The one from sets. These ones here I would count as seconds. I'm not going to want to eat those quickly. And those two over there I'm going to take the the leaves off them. And uh, well, I think there's some green stuff over the winter. Those they look nice. They're perfect. They're just upright and beautiful. Both of them. I might dehydrate them. 
That's it, that's the onion harvest. Okay, here's some garlic, a little bit of string here, the opinel knife. Take a little bit of string. First thing to do is clean up the garlic. If they're, if they're a little bit dirty like that, you can break off the roots like that. And uh, they'll clean up quite nicely. And if the stock is it's hardening garlic, you can bend it like that to make it more pliable. Yeah. Of course when you're braiding you don't want to, to cause any problems. So it's nice just to Clean it up a little bit so that it looks good. And I usually just do it with, with 10 garlic balls. That's sufficient. Otherwise, it can become too too heavy, too awkward to plate. Look at that! How it cleans up nicely. Yeah. Okay. Now we've got them. I don't like working with the uh, two big stocks, so you can cut them up so they're all about level, like that. Pull that away. When you're starting plating, take two. Oh, one fell through that hole. <laughs> take two big garlics and cross them over like that and take your piece of string and tie them together down the bottom there we go just a simple knot The next thing you do is you take a small garlic and you put it in the centre, like that. Now you start uh, the plating or braiding. So if you take a garlic and you put it here on the left hand side, like that, then you take the stem from, this is the right hand side, and you take it from the left hand side and you move it over. The next one goes on to the left hand side and then you take the right one over like that and so you go on to the left hand side and you take the right one over to the right hand side And then the left one over. And then the 
right hand side in there can we get in there and then the left one over and then the left hand side and the right one over And then the final one here in the centre, the small one usually, leave a small one for the last one. It's plopped in there in the centre. And over it like that. And now you do the braiding. Like this. about it. And you can bend it over like that. Well, now it's the finished product. It, uh, braided into place. And the final thing that you would do is uh, tie some string around the top there when it's finished. Here's some that I've already done over in the shed. I think that one looks a lot better. There's one there. That was the first one I did, which is a lot tighter and nicer. So I've now got about 30 garlic bulbs. I'll hang it up to dry. <laughs>